Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and today I should be building a MiG-15 in Minecraft. Alright, so uh, you may know that I have been uh, impressed by the MiG-15 for quite a long time and I've been wanting to build one in Minecraft um, as well, but I couldn't, I didn't really know how to do the front bit uh, because as you can see here uh, the MiG-15 has a, uh, an air intake in the front that sort of splits into two uh, that go around the cockpit uh, to the engine which is in the back um, and I, I, I didn't really know how to do that so I, I tried to experiment a bit and this, this is what came out I guess um, and I thought damn this looks really nice and uh, I wanna build this thing in a video so today we're going to be doing just that, but before we continue, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the MiG-15. So you probably know uh, that uh, the MiG-15 is uh, wa or was a Soviet um, jet um, fighter slash interceptor uh, airplane. Um, it was developed in the late uh, 40s, um, launched in 49, um, and um, it incorporated some uh, German designs uh, as well as um, a, uh, a British engine um, design uh, into a, an aircraft that was quite far ahead of its time actually. Um, so it was uh, basically one of the first airplanes to incorporate uh, a swept wing design. Uh, now that's important because uh, a swept wing uh, makes it possible for the airplane to uh, go much faster uh, so uh, around uh, the speed of sound where the properties um, of a wing would, uh, needed, would need to be changed because um, stuff like stacking and, and stuff like that appears uh, and uh, it can be very dangerous uh, normal uh, like piston uh, engine aircraft just had uh, straight wings and uh, that wasn't really a problem because at that time um, of course they wouldn't uh, be they wouldn't be able to reach uh, anywhere near the speed of sound which meant that that wasn't really a problem at all uh, but when uh, jet engines became a thing and um, airplanes became faster uh, they wanted to have something some type of different type of wing to accommodate that uh, and the, the swept wing was the answer to that uh, as you probably know all of the modern um, jet fighters have sw swept or um, wings that are not straight I should say um, so that's because of that basically uh, so this thing was quite advanced at that time um, and uh, it was intended as uh, a fighter interceptor um, it was also used in that role in the Korean War quite extensively um, to intercept uh, American uh, B-29 bombers um, and um, it was uh, very good it had um, a couple of powerful uh, autocannons on the front um, and uh, that was uh, that meant it was quite successful at taking down large aircraft such as B-29 uh, so anyway, um, it was uh, it is a single engined um, plane. Uh, it was like a, a second generation uh, jet aircraft or jet fighter, I, sh I would say, um, because the engines uh, were not under the wings, such as the first gen. Uh, instead, it was just one large engine inside of the fuselage. Um, and um, yeah, uh, so it didn't go supersonic, of course. Uh, that didn't happen uh, for some time uh, in uh, just regular uh, fighters. Uh, but it was uh, sort of uh, in that realm of um, of the speed of sound, and uh, it was quite successful. Uh, it did compete uh, against against the American uh, Sabre, um, and um, it was sort of on par with that airplane. I'm gonna be building that one uh, at some point as well. 
Um, and uh, most, as I said before, most notably used in the Korean War. Um, so what happened there was, which is quite interesting, um, the of course uh, it would, they are pretty much produced by the Soviets, and then uh, they they um, sort of sold some of them to Chinese and um, they or, and the North Koreans, I guess, and um, but the most of them were still flown by Russian uh, pilots, um, which meant that they had to um, sort of disguise themselves, um, so they would uh, like uh, speak some uh, uh, some Korean, they would like have a uh, a bit of a note to, to uh, of some Korean words and they would just uh, talk that so uh, the Americans didn't um, didn't couldn't just say that the Russians are flying but of course uh, there was uh, a lot of Russian talking as well so uh, it was quite obvious but they still couldn't just say that Russia was directly involved or the Soviets were directly involved which um, they claimed not to be in that war uh, so anyway um, if you are interested in this airplane you should look it up you should read about it it is a very cool thing um, and uh, right now I'm gonna be building one so as always we're gonna start with the landing gear uh, now as you can see this airplane has the the sort of uh, modern um, setup for landing gear it's got one uh, wheel at the front of the fuselage and then two uh, two landing gear uh, at uh, the base of the wings basically um, and that's pretty much how all modern planes are uh, but you may rem remember that before um, uh, before this setup there was the um, the uh, setup in which the landing gear was attached to wings and then there was just a little uh, trailing wheel at the back of the fuselage um, that was of course to accommodate the propellers that were used on piston uh, airplanes uh, and the, the propeller was quite large so in order to uh, for it to not hit the ground um, the wheel on the back uh, was uh, was lower than the, uh, the the wheels on the on the wings which meant the, that of course the airplane was tilted upwards uh, but of course uh, with a jet engine you don't have a propeller, a big propeller which meant that of course uh, you could have this setup which is um, much better and um, this is pretty much how all modern planes are and uh, we're gonna build uh, the uh, landing gear of the MiG-15 right now so we have um, we have like five blocks in between uh, these uh, two bits here so something like that and then we have one wheel at the front in the center there we are we're gonna need some um, nether brick fences they're gonna go um, on the front here sorry and then up here these are gonna connect to the wings okay uh, and then we're gonna have um, a front bit here. Just gonna extend this line um, to go like there, and then add a couple of slabs to the back as well. And there we are. And then we're gonna have um, just another line of blocks here on top, um, and then we're gonna expand this out. So it's gonna be three blocks wide on top, basically. Um, just like this uh, and then we leave one block there um, that should be that should be nice that should be the main body and then um, we're gonna add some slabs to the bottom uh, to the bottom of these blocks here uh, so just to add some uh, fullness to the whole uh, to the whole fuselage here there we are okay and I think we're gonna do the front now. Uh, the MiG-15, I believe, was also or is considered the most produced uh, jet fighter in the world. I think uh, because not only the Soviet Union built them, um, they also 
uh, sold the design to other countries uh, of the uh, communist bloc, I guess. And um, it was built in massive numbers, actually, uh, which is pretty cool as well. So we have a slab here. Let's remove that block for now and that one. We're going to have a block of black concrete there. That's just going to hide uh, everything that's behind there and it's going to make it look like there's a duct in there. And then uh, we're going to need an anvil for this. So the anvil is going to go in the middle. And uh, what that's going to do is uh, that is going to act as our separator or whatever it's called. Uh, if you look at a picture of a MiG-15 front, you see that the nose has this shape in the middle which separates the airflow uh, from one opening into two ducts that go around the cockpit. Uh, so that's what that's supposed to represent. Um, and then we're gonna have a couple of iron trapdoors to, um, to close this off on the sides. That's pretty much the best I can do. And we're gonna have a lever in the middle. There we are. Um, and then on top, we're gonna have some carpet uh, to hide it all. So basically on top of here, there, there we are. And this is pretty much the nose of our MiG-15, the patented uh, Jacobs Games nose of a MiG-15 in Minecraft. And now we can continue with the rest of the plane. So we're gonna add another black uh, block of black concrete there. This is just gonna be for our cockpit bottom. And we're gonna have two blocks of glass here. Uh, now these uh, airplanes came with a single seater version or a two seater version as well. Uh, this one is just a single seater. Uh, because it looks kind of cool, but actually the the two seater looks even cooler maybe uh, Because it has this long canopy and it's really interesting um, But we're gonna be building this one today uh, And you can explore the other one for yourself if you want to So we're gonna add a couple of slabs there and then um, I believe well, we can do the tail uh, so the tail uh, is also an interesting piece of design so we have uh, let's add the, uh, the the vertical stabilizer first of all um, it is the vertical stabilizer on this plane is very distinct as well uh, because it is um, at a very shallow angle uh, and it's quite long so it's got this interesting uh, arrow looking effect um, so that's pretty much it and then on the bottom of it we're gonna build the um, the jet engine exhaust so we're gonna have a black concrete block here uh, and that's gonna be surrounded by our uh, iron trap doors they're gonna go um, let's see on the bottom uh, with a lever it's gonna close them and then we're gonna have uh, another set that's gonna go on top I believe so let's see how this works uh, just add a slab there there we are remove those and then have a, a lever there and that's pretty much uh, how it's gonna be um, it's it's better than nothing it's not ideal but I can't really make it ideal so this is what it is and I'm quite happy with it so uh, that's pretty nice uh, if you look under on the real one uh, it has this interesting contoured um, sort of uh, ending thing to it uh, cover I guess um, and looks kind of cool um, this is pretty much the closest I can get so yeah okay so uh, let's build the horizontal stabilizers as well they're not very big they're sort of on the in the middle here of the vertical stabilizer um, and they're very simple so this is pretty much it for that for the tail and uh, now we're gonna build the wings so the wings of course uh, are gonna start uh, a bit um, further 
forward from the uh, from the center point so like here and uh, they are sort of in the middle of the fuselage um, and uh, we're gonna just build them out here so we have four blocks there so we have two and four uh, and then we have a row of five which starts right there and then we have a row of three on the end there we are that's pretty much our wing um, they're not very uh, substantial they're quite slim uh, and quite cool looking actually uh, they're not extremely sweeped sweeped swept that's the word they're not extremely swept um, because as I said this airplane didn't really achieve uh, supersonic speed um, and so there wasn't really well it needed uh, it didn't need uh, super swept wings uh, because that would make it more uncontrollable I guess um, so let's build the other one uh, so we have two four and then we have five I believe and then we have three and that should be the other wing um, and now I believe the last thing to do would be to add some guns of course so as I said it has two guns on the front of the fuselage uh, one is like a 30 millimeter cannon a 33 or something and the other one is uh, like a 20 millimeter 22 or 23 or something like that um, or I think uh, the bigger one, the bigger one is actually a 37 millimeter. I'm not sure. Uh, there was a bigger one and a smaller one. Um, the bigger one, of course, used for taking down larger airplanes, uh, and then uh, this, the smaller one for taking down fighters. Um, they were also equipped with some unguided missiles, I believe, air to air, uh, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. I think we're pretty much finished here. Uh, I could add some um, some item frames to the wheels as well, because why the hell not? Uh, it's gonna make it look a bit nicer, and um, I think uh, it's gonna be all for this video. So I hope you enjoyed this build of a very nice MiG-15. Now you can do uh, some stuff with the color uh, configuration as well. Uh, some had some red stripes and, and stuff like that. Uh, you can play with that, but I think um, I'm just gonna go with this uh, and uh, We're gonna wrap it up here. So if you like this video, you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel uh, You can also check out my other videos. I would also like to say thank you for watching this um, If you liked it, you can also support me on patreon now and uh, I will see you next time